Okay, I know that it stopped snowing and everything. But I still have to wonder, why does it keep getting this crazy warm and then crazy cold again? What kind of winter is this? I mean, if you're going to be winter, be cold, you know? Sorry, Monday blues. But I'm not going to let that get me down. Good morning, everybody. So, yeah. The weekend's over. Back to the old grind. But you know what? Monday is just one day. Every day is a new day, as I said before. And we should try not to take that for granted. <laughs> you know, oh yeah, right, the Oscars happened last night. I completely forgot. Some of the things I wanted to win won. Coco. Coco won Best Animated Picture. That one made me very happy. That movie legitimately, like, almost made me cry. Like, I never cry at, like, a kid's movie. Like, I didn't cry, like, yeah, I'm gonna get some hatred for this, but I didn't cry at the end of Iron Giant. I mean, I knew it was sad, just, you know, I, just didn't, I didn't cry at the end of the first ten minutes of Up. Like, the closest, like, the two movies that have been the closest to making me cry have been the opening of Inside Out, I'm sorry, what can I say? I just can't stand the sight of a crying baby in that way. And the end of Coco. And if you guys have seen Coco, you know what I'm talking about. You know, uh, Sam Rockwell. Sam Rockwell won. Yeah, he's awesome. Any movie that Sam Rockwell is in that he's dancing is going to be good. Remember that. Although I do feel bad for Christopher Plummer. Honestly, if he had won, he'd be the oldest man to ever win an Oscar. At 88 years old. But, no, Sam Rockwell won, which is awesome. Frances McDormand, second Oscar win. Her first one was for Fargo, which is a great movie. And she won last night. Uh, darn, who won Best Actor? Darn, it's... Sorry, uh... I, 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 I can't remember right now, but... You know, The Shape of Water? I never saw The Shape of Water, but I heard a lot of great things. I might not go seeing it myself. <sighs> Excuse me. So, yeah. Honestly, I don't know what this week's going to hold, but I'm looking forward to it. We should all look forward to every new day. And I'm really glad that, you know... Wait. Hold on. I just realized that I have done this long enough to make a habit out of this three times. You know that? Wow. If you're keeping track at home, then again, I write the number of the day, so it would be easy to do, you know, to keep track and everything. But, you know what? Every day, we're, like, that much close to the spring, and you know what? We have less than... Well, Less than two and a half weeks. I think we can do two and a half weeks. Because the first day of spring is on March 20th this year. It's weird though. Usually it's supposed to be on like the 21st. But for whatever reason they call it on the 20th. Which. Okay. It's a little off. But. <sighs> whatever. It's cool I guess. I guess if there's a, there's some committee that that plans all this then. You know, they got to do what they got to do, right? Let's see. There's that. So, yeah, still going to be rocking this green tie. Because it's my, one of my favorite ties. All I can say is, again, I never named names, but there was a guy in high school where around... I think it was my sophomore year in his junior year, because he was a year older than me. He was very much big into his Irish heritage, and I don't know, but it stuck with me so much that when I was picking a tie to take with me in Trinity Polly, we I, I actually went to the uh, Joseph A. Banks that's by the uh, Arnott Mall, for those of you wondering where I got it. I, you know, I'm picking out ties to wear, and... I just saw this, and I'm like, I want it. So darn you, good sir. 
Again, I never named names. Although I do know he's getting married to his high school sweetheart in June. That's going to be a wonderful wedding. And they got engaged in Florida. That's even awesome. They have like, like their engagement photos are like on the beach, it's sunset, long walks on the beach. You know, they do the whole classic, she's laying on the lawn chair and he's fanning her with a giant palm branch or whatever. There's a metaphor to that picture somewhere. <laughs> but I do have to say, they've been going out together for a good while. Like, since high school, obviously. And when I first heard they got engaged, I um, immediately thought to this one early episode of Family Guy. It's the one where the world ends, like, uh, you know, the nuclear explosions happen, whatever, Y2K, whatever. They find the Twinkie factory in Natick, they open the door, everyone's going ooh and ah, and then you hear Stewie yell, It's about damn time! And that was my exact reaction to those two getting engaged. So, yeah. That's great. I'm glad, I'm, again, I'm happy for him, as I said before. Well, that will, yeah, I already said before I'm happy for him, but also that I should be that. We all should be happy for those who are in relationships because you never know. The people that, those two may all, may only have each other. But in this day and age, we don't know if that's enough. So be happy and supportive for those who are in relationships, I mean. Don't want to sound weird doing that. You know, that's actually one thing that always bothers me. Whenever you hear, like, movies or fiction ever and they say, she's the best thing ever happened to me, I'm like... That always scratched my head because I get what you mean, but you technically call her a thing. And things are objects, and women are not objects. I don't know, maybe I'm overanalyzing that a little too much, but for me that was always a head-scratcher. I mean, don't get me wrong, I get the implication behind it. And it's always a well-meaning thing to say, but I don't know. Again, probably overanalyzing it. And on that note, I should probably end this before I do something that could make me very much over-emotional. So, on that note, I'm humbled that I made this video for you guys to enjoy. I'm hopeful that we all have a wonderful day today. And remember, if you guys ever want to talk, if you guys ever want to chat, I'll always be here to lend an ear, and I will always have your back. So take care.